Hey kids, this is Ivan. This is the second installment in the two weapon fighting series. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was going to go so long, so I decided to split it up into some separate videos. But just to recap kind of where we were in this mathematical analysis, what I'm doing is I'm taking a single weapon and calling it a D8 longsword, and that's going to be the benchmark. And then there's 20 natural rolls that that weapon needs to hit something. So I'm going to compare that to uh, what you're going to do with a, uh, a long sword and a dagger. So a D8 weapon and a D4 dagger, you know, um, with your various penalties. And see, like, how often you're going, to, you're going to hit versus the other one and how often you're going to uh, do more damage versus a single weapon. And as I said before, you know, if you need a high natural number to hit with that single weapon, you're better off using it in most cases. If you need a lower natural number to hit with that weapon, the two weapons are probably going to be your better bet. Now onto the actual numbers. First edition, if you have that standard negative two, negative four penalty, uh, you're going to start to hit more often when you need a natural roll of 14 or less with a single weapon. And you're actually going to hit, uh, on average, about 90% of the time you would with a single weapon, you know, over all the various armor classes. That's pretty much what I'm doing with the averages. Um, you're going to do better damage per round on a natural roll of 13 or less needed, and you're going to do 96% of the damage that a single weapon would do overall. Now, if you have a dex uh, modifier plus one, so you have a negative one, negative three, on a roll of 16, you're going to be hitting more often and you're going to be doing better damage to those rolls or less. Um, you're, going to do about, you're going to hit about 5% more of the time and you're going to do 14% more damage. If you're at 0, negative 2, so you've got that plus 2 dex modifier, um, then at a roll of 18 or less needed to hit with a single weapon, you're going to be doing better with two weapons. You're going to hit 26% more frequently with the two weapons and you're going to do 38% more damage. And finally, uh, with a 0, negative 1, so you've got that 18 with a plus 3 modifier, uh, at a roll of 19 or less needed with that single weapon, you're going to be doing better with two weapons, and you're going to hit 34% more of the time on average, and you're going to do 45% more da damage on average. Not too overpowered. You know, it's kind of like, you know, about where you want two weapon fighting to be, you know, at its maximum. Anyhow, on the second edition, where unfortunately it gets a little bit overpowered. Now, if you're ambidextrous, your penalties are negative 2, negative 2. So you're using your sword and your dagger. Uh, at a roll of 16 needed or less, you're going to be hitting more often with two weapons. And at a roll of 15 or less, you're going to be doing more damage with two weapons. You're going to be only, only hitting 2% uh, more of the time on average with a, uh, that negative 2, negative 2 penalty. And you're only going to be doing about 7% uh, more damage on average. You know, the numbers vary, but, you know, when you, uh, you know, average out all those various natural rolls needed, that's what it comes out to. With a negative 1, negative 1 penalty, so you're ambidextrous and you've got a dexterity that gives you a plus 1 modifier. At a roll of 18, you're going to be, or less, you're going to be hitting more often and you're going to be doing more damage. You're going to be hitting about 20% more of the time, and you're going to be doing 27% more uh, damage with that. And at 0, 0, which means you're ambidextrous and specialized, or either one of those, and uh, have a dexterity which gives you a plus 2 modifier, obviously on a roll of 20, you're already hitting more often, and you're doing more average damage. You're going to be hitting 47% more often, and you're going to do 55% more damage. Now you get into the D8, D8 weapons. So, you know, you're specialized and you can use the two long swords. At a zero, negative two, you are on a roll of 18, you're going to be, or less, you're going to be hitting more often and be doing more damage more often. You're going to hit 26% uh, more often and you're going to do 69% more damage on average. If it's zero, negative one, so you're specialized or ambidextrous and you've got, uh, you know, the plus one dexterity, then your rolls are going to be 19 uh, or less. You're going to be doing better on the two hit or damage if frequency. So you're, you're going to hit 34% uh, more frequently and you do 82% more damage. And if it's a zero, 0 with those two D8 weapons now, obviously at a roll of 20, once again, you're going to be hitting more frequently and doing more damage more frequently. You're going to be hitting 47% more often and you're going to be doing twice the damage. So it's a little bit overpowered. Now on to something that's not so overpowered, Pathfinder. With that negative 6, negative 10 penalty, where you're using two normal size weapons, you are never, ever going to hit more frequently. You're actually going to have an average um, hit up, uh, uh, average, sorry, average, average, you're, you're going to hit uh, on average 43% of the time you would with one single weapon. And you're going to do 
52% of the damage. You're actually going to start doing more damage per round when you need a natural or four or less. So if you're a really high level fighter and you're fighting unarmed people, hooray, you can do more damage. Um, at that negative four, negative eight penalty where you've got an offhand weapon, you are never ever going to hit uh, better than uh, the sing guy with a single weapon. And you're going to hit 59% of the time that he does on average. Your damage per round will get better at a natural roll of five or less, but you will be doing on average 63% of the damage the guy with a one long sword does. Now, if you specialize uh, and you're using the two long swords, so you've got D8, D8, you're going to start hitting better on an 11 or less, and you're going to be hitting about 75% of the time he, you know, the guy with a single weapon does on average. You're going to start doing better damage per round at a, a natural roll of 12 needed or less for the single weapon guy. And you're going to be doing 99% of the damage that he does on average. Sometimes you're going to be doing more, sometimes you're going to be doing less, but that's the average. Now at negative 2, negative 2, where you're specialized and you're using that light offhand weapon, you're going to start hitting more frequently on a roll of 16 or less that the, the guy with a single sword needs. You're going to be doing a whopping 2% uh, or hitting a whopping 2% more frequently than he does on average. Um, you're, as far as damage per round, you're going to start doing better than he is on a natural roll of 15 that he needs or less. And you're going to be doing the amazing amount of 7% more damage than the guy that uh, is using the single weapon. So what I can say from here is that uh, Pathfinder doesn't do so great. I understand they wanted to make it less uh, powerful than games like 1st and 2nd edition. I think they went way over the top. There's almost no reason to use two-weapon fighting, even if you're specialized in a game like Pathfinder. I'm sorry. They just they lose in this thing, evaluation. 2nd edition is way too overpowerful. Power, that specialization they give you in the ambidexterity. Ambidexterity is not a bad idea, but I'd rather have you roll for it or something like that. And maybe you get that 1% of the population or whatever. But just all those numbers are just way too powerful. The modifiers don't offset the bigger weapons. It's just kind of a loser. First edition isn't so bad by itself. Some people, you know, tend to get a little upset that it gets a little overpowered when you have the high dexterity, but it's not real, real bad. Now, in terms of some uh, other ideas that people have talked about on the web, I'm just going to kind of list a few of those and then stop this video and then talk about the system that I've been coming up with and uh, just give you some numbers on that. Uh, some people have had the idea of limiting the penalty modifiers to final values of negative 2, negative 2, or 0, negative 2 if some kind of specialization is used. So that's it. You won't, can't get any lower than that. Um, those specialized in two-weapon fighting get no penalty to the attack roll of the primary weapon, but have a negative two to the attack roll of the secondary weapon if it's small, a negative four if it's a medium, and a negative six to the secondary if it's a large weapon, like a D8. Uh, and at no time can the modifier of the attack roll of the secondary weapon be less than negative two. That's kind of interesting. Still could be a little overpowered. Um, Increasing the penalties to two D8 weapons, no style specialization, to negative four, negative six. Kind of an interesting idea. Uh, you know, letting you at least use those two weapons, even if you're not specialized. The idea that each weapon does half damage. Interesting idea. I did, ran the numbers on it. It's just not worth it to use two weapons if you do it that way. How about each weapon takes a negative to the amount of damage it inflicts, or does a smaller die in damage? Kind of interesting. It gets complex with the numbers, but it's an interesting idea. Now, the other one has no second attack, but you get a bonus to the AC or a bonus to the attack roll player's choice, kind of like how they do it um, in, uh, in second edition with a specialization. Not, you know, okay idea, but not such a, not such a, like, you know, a novel one. Um, a miss with a primary weapon allows you a chance to hit with a secondary. If you hit with a primary, the secondary gets no attack. That's not such a bad idea. Um, Two-weapon fighting just gives an increase in damage to a single attack roll, so it's not rolled as two attacks. This is either plus one or plus two damage to the primary weapon, or you move the damage die of the primary weapon up one, so a D8 longsword would become a D10 longsword. So it's still just one attack roll, but you, you, your damage gets, uh, gets better. So that's an interesting idea. Uh, increasing to the base penalties of negative three, negative six, like in Castles and Crusades, also not a bad idea. Um, no strength to hit bonuses are usable when two weapon fighting. That's actually what one of my DMs does online. So like if you're using two weapon fighting, I can use my mass of 17 dexterity, but my 17 strength doesn't count for anything. So I, I lose those to hit uh, bonuses from that 17 strength. And that's, that's not such a bad, you know, kind of like, you know, modifier there to kind of, you know, tone it down just a little bit. Because the two hit penalties really are where, you know, you get, to, you get hit the most. 
Um, no strength damage bonus whatsoever to the weapons, or only half strength damage bonus. And this could apply to just an offhand weapon or to both of the weapons. And then no specialization bonuses can be used with the two weapons when using them at the same time. So if you're using specialization or weapon mastery, you don't get to use those. So some of, those are some of the other ideas. They're all kind of cool. They're not exactly what I was looking for. But, you know, my evaluation of the three game stands, I think for, first edition does okay. I think second edition is way too overpowerful. And uh, Pathfinder is a kind of a goose egg. It just doesn't make any sense to use two-weapon fighting. Sorry, guys.